here, back there. Did we have a COVID outbreak or something? Just kidding. Well, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a stand-up comedy show with Andy Hofer and I today. I think we gotta entertain these kids. <laughs> we're gonna have dad jokes for days. <laughs> All right, so I'm waiting on Ashley and whomever else. Um, I'll give you four minutes to kind of share your highs and your lows, and then we'll start digging in, okay? Or any sort of other check-in that you might want to do, okay? Four minutos. All right, Ashley, are we missing a bajillion people? I think we're missing quite a few people. Yeah, agreed. So come into the middle two sections, please. All right, I think this will be close enough here. All right, so uh, today we're going to talk about one of my absolute favorite topics in confirmation, the book of Psalms. Yes, I love it. Absolutely love it. So we're going to play a little game to start. Does that sound cool? Yeah. Woo! Okay, so we're going to play a little song that requires you all to work as a team. So we're pretty much evenly divided here. So this group, the, what would this be? The west group and the east group, okay? Uh, you all have to work together, and it's called Name That Song, okay? So I will give you a word that, or a, a word that appears in many songs. Your job is to all come together as a group, pick a song that has that word or theme, and then come up and sing that song. You can pick someone to come sing the song. So, if I were to say, here's an example, if I were to say, road, I'd say, go. You'd get in your groups, you'd figure out a song, and I'd be like, oh, I know one. Okay, now I'd run up and I'd ring the bell, or shake the maraca, and I'd say, country road, take me home, to the place, I belong, who knows that one, West Virginia, mountain mama, hi mama, okay, take me home country roads, John Denver, 
Okay. Does everyone get the gist of the game? Yes? We're all good. Okay, so be prepared to work in your groups, okay? East and West groups, okay? If you're at home, uh, go ahead and if you've got your, uh, if you're signed into YouTube, throw a song in the comment section, okay? Here we go. Are we ready? Yeah, I mean, they have to come up with a song and then someone has to come sing the song. And you have to sing it up here in the mic. Here we go. Ready? Our first word slash theme. River. River. Work together as a group. I mean... Come on. This should, I've got one already. Oh, and did I did I mention that Candy is on the line? Candy's on the line. Oh, Charles is coming up. It's not even a race. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do I, I Shh, here we go. Right. As best you can. Okay. Um, okay, the first one that came to my mind was... I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. All right. You got peace like a river where? In my soul. In my soul. All right. Okay. Here we go. One. Okay. Round two. Love. Love. I mean, I, we can all sing it as a group together. I don't think anyone wants candy. No one wants candy? Char Charles is going to take it all home. All right, Charles. I mean, it would be in poor taste to use the same song again, right? Because, I mean, I could, okay. Um, all right. All right, so... I, I've got an Elvis song. It's, <laughs> you got a hunk, a hunk of burning love. Yeah, that one. <laughs> nice. All right. Busting out all of them. Two, zero. All right. Where are you at, East or West group? Where are you at? Okay. Here we go. Ready? Jump. Oh, 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 oh. Don't fall. Jump. Jump around. Jump. <laughs> jump, around. Jump, 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 jump around. Jump, jump. All right, there we go. On the board. Okay, here we go. Come on. Okay. All right. I'm trying to think of these off the top of my head now, Ashley. <laughs> um. I'm having a brain fart. Um. Here we go. Sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> Louder! Only sunshine. You make me happy. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's it is two, two apiece. to two. It's two apiece. Good job. Your team has to win. What? No, come on. Okay. All right. It is tied. Two to two. Two to two. All right. Hmm. Okay. Ashley picked something that I would not have picked. Because Jesus. Jesus is always the answer. Go! Win, someone! All right. I'm back. And the song I've got should come as a shocker to all of you. It's, uh, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. All right. Ashley, I'm trying to go for the less obvious things here. 
Talk. Come on, we got we got to challenge them. Um. We got to challenge them. How about pizza? What? That's challenging. Uh, okay, Ashley. Pizza it is. Pizza. 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 You know what? Can you can you just sing just speak the lyrics? Can you speak the lyrics? Just You can si just You know Pizza. Pizza. No. Cheater? Oh. What? A fly just flew into the wax. Oh. Gross. Gross. Should I blow that out? No. Yes. Okay, here we go. No takers. Does a slogan count? If it's music, right? I mean, if it's a, yeah, if it's, it's, music. If it's a little ditty. You gotta come. Like, I've got one in my head. Sorry, I can't cheat. It goes, pizza, pizza. <laughs> oh. Pizza, pizza. No. There's a VBS song about pizza. How about people. like, how about the Bagel Bite theme song? Bagel Bites? When pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. I bagel like bites. pizza. Some say it's all right. Ashley, were you ever a child? No. Okay, here we go. Anyway. Still three to two. Family. <gasps> Family. Family. Hey, we're going to best of seven here, so East Group, you can take it. Family. Family. Oh, my gosh. Come on. No, no. I bet, I bet Kirk Anthony from the radio knows family. <laughs> Baby shark, do 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 do. <laughs> I'm taking it. Goes, it goes I'm, baby, mom, dad. Friend. Yep, it is theme or literal word. I'm taking theme the shark or family theme. Word. Ding ding ding. Ba it's okay. <laughs> pizza, pizza. It's not a song. <laughs> All right, three apiece. Three apiece. Okay, here we go. This, this is, is to win it. This is the winner. This is to win so you it. better run. Here we go. Time. Tick tock. Time. All right, Charles. Here we go. Speaking to the mic. Okay. Uh, this is, I don't even know if this is like a real song. Charles! It's from a show I watched, and I remember it for some reason. So, <laughs> okay, it goes. It goes sort of like the sands of time slip through your hands, and something like that. It's a sad song. I don't. I don't know it. I don't know it either. No, nothing. Our judge in the back says, uh -uh. "All right, to steal it, to steal it." The comeback kids. <laughs> if you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time, time after time. Whoa! Oh, yeah! All right. Time CBI. after time wins it. All right. West Group, way to come back. Great job. You get candy on the way out. Fantastic. Charles, I do appreciate the, the effort. And way to dig back into the memory files. Good job. All right. So, shh. All right. You know, we did have an official judge in the back, Kirk Meyer. Did you guys know he's a DJ? His, his radio name is Kirk Anthony. And what two radio stations are three? There you go. Yeah. Okay, put your radio vo voice on, Kirk. Put, put the radio voice on. Why? 
Like we are in the pres. Not only, not only is he a DJ, he is also a Coob champion. Coob. I'm a what? A Coob champion. <laughs> I thought you said something else. <laughs> Scared me. Um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, greatest hits, ninety-eight point one. Kirk Anthony with you. Time for a uh, little James Taylor on your Tuesday afternoon. There we go. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, Kirk, what James Taylor song would it have been? Uh, it's the friend one. Uh, Carol King sang it oh, with yep. him. You've yep. got a friend. You've got a friend. All which right. kind of ties in. Yeah. That's the song that I thought. Nice. Of. All right. All right. So today we are talking about the book of Psalms. And who wants to take a guess as to why we played this name that song game? Charles. Boom shakalaka. Yes. Think of think of the Psalms. If you were to look in your Bible, who's got their Bible? Okay. I'm still learning names, but open your Bible. Just go right into the middle of your Bible and open it. Chances are you'll be in the book of Psalms. Just pick in the middle and are you in the book of Psalms? No. All right, so right in the middle of the Bible, there are these group of books called wisdom literature. And so there's the book of Psalms, there's the book of Proverbs, there's a uh, Song of Solomon, just kind of right in the middle, okay? And, oh, and there's also Ecclesiastes, excuse me. So Psalms, this is like the hymnal in the Bible, all of these psalms, all 150 of them, are all songs. So they used to be sung in worship settings way back when, like thousands of years ago. So we have a songbook within the Bible. Isn't that pretty cool? I think it's cool because it goes to show just how many different types of literature are in the Bible. Like if you were to go to... Uh, just fast forward just a little bit and go to uh, Song of Solomon. Oh, or maybe it's backwards. Where are you? I can't find it. Anywho, Song of Solomon has some pretty poetic imagery. Uh, and it's a little risque. It's actually kind of like love poetry in here. Yeah. So that's just a little bit uh, ahead of the book of Psalms. So, the book of Psalms, if you have your Lutheran study Bible, who's got that? Lutheran study Bible? Yep, okay. So if you went to the very first section of the book of Psalms, there is a very detailed list of all the types of Psalms. So who wants to read that list for me? I got it? Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. You got it. You can do it. All right, who wants to go? Who wants to share all these types of psalms? It's important to recognize that there are lots. Okay. Who wants to share? Who wants to read it? All you have to do is read the title, The Types of Psalms. And I think it's the, like, just the main headings. Okay. Prayers for help, hymns of praise, liturgies, <laughs> instructional poems, songs of thanksgiving, royal poems, trust poems, acrostic poems, festival poems, historic poems. All right. So that, those are a ton of, and there were some right even in there, right? Uh, different types with, under those. Uh, I like to think of, I like to boil it down even further to types of psalms. And I like to think of them as praise, like praising God in a worship type setting. Thanksgiving psalms, like thanking God for helping you. A lament psalm, 
And that's like a psalm when you're mad. Has anyone been mad and had those big God questions like, why God? The psalmist has these questions. All right, listen up. This is important, okay? If you remember, Jesus on the cross says this, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus is quoting one of the psalms. The psalmist says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me in this lament psalm, but it kind of resolves itself with trust in God. Which brings us to our next one, trust. Trusting in God in all kind of situations, and then a a psalm of help, where you're asking God to help deliver you, help you out in a specific situation. What I like about the book of Psalms is that there is a psalm for just about every feeling situation in life. It may not get to the historical specifics of 2021, but it gets to the general feeling. So, who was at worship today? Okay, my sermon was about, my brief sermon, was about how Jesus is with us in the crap of life. All right? You can find that in the Psalms. Uh, U2 has an awesome cover of Psalm 40. Go ahead, YouTube that. Um, Does anyone know who U2 is? Okay, a couple. A couple folks, good. Check out Psalm 40. Very nice. Um, So, for the next 10 minutes or so, we're going to dig into the book of Psalms, okay? So, let's, um, Ashley, pick one, two, or three. Okay, go to Psalm 13. All right, Psalm 13. And if you forgot your Bible, this is a great reminder to bring it next time. All right, I will read it, and then we'll have some questions to discuss as a large group here. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. All right, Psalm 13. So why would such kind of a sad psalm be included in the Bible? If you're at home, put it in the comments. Charles. Yeah, so Charles is saying, for for those at home, perhaps they're feeling abandoned by God and they're reflecting that in in the psalm writing. Yeah, okay. Anyone else? So I like where Charles went with that because I think we've probably all felt that at some point or another. But let's go to this, that very last part, verses 5 and 6. But I trusted in your steadfast love, and my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because the Lord has dealt bountifully with me. So what happens there? It's this kind of, yeah, sad stuff, kind of feeling abandoned, and then what happens at the end there? Are they still sad? Maybe sad, but these sound like words of trust, right? Like even though it seems like everything is going against them, they're still trusting in God, okay? So they're resolving to, to trust that God will, will answer them, okay? All right, Ashley, pick one or two. 
2. Let's go to Psalm 150. Psalm 150. Does someone want to read this? All right, Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Stray him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will note that this is masculine language for God. This is just part of the time when these psalms were written. So, where is God's sanctuary? We're, at, we're looking at Psalm 150. Where is God's sanctuary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fancy word they use is firmament, but yeah, it, it's referencing heaven, right? Uh, that, you know, the, the other translations say dome, but yeah, they're referencing towards kind of heaven. Yeah, so praise God who is in heaven. And so they list a bunch of ways to praise God, and what, what are they praising God with in this psalm? Yes. Yeah, lots of musical instruments. Yeah. What are some modern day instruments that you might use to praise God? Charles uses the violin in crossword. You use the acoustic guitar. I'm still waiting for you guys to come like do a little jam sesh. What else? What other instruments might we use to praise God? Yeah. Your voice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Drums. Yeah. Uh-huh. Totally. Anyone else? Charles? <laughs> you could use a viola if you're that person. All right. So what are ways you can praise God that maybe are not musical instruments, but you can still praise God? I mean, this, this is a very musical psalm because it's the final psalm in the psalm book. But what are other ways you can praise God? Because that, that last verse, verse 6, let everything that breathes... Praise the Lord. Sorry, there are flies over here. Charles. You can dance. Anybody want to bust a move up here for candy? No, not even for candy. Wow. Anything else? How else can we praise God? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, with what you do, your actions, for sure. All right, I I love to fish. Anyone else like fishing out there? Okay, no, maybe at home you like fishing. I have some friends that like to keep, when I lived in North Dakota, if they caught a walleye, they kept whatever they got. And they would keep, like, walleyes like this big. And I'd be like, no, dude. Why? It's like eight, nine inches long. Like it's not even a Subway sandwich here, man. Come on. It's like, oh man, I gotta keep it. I would say, just put it back. Because I saw that as praising God, thanking God for all of God's creation by letting things live if they were still growing and maturing and all that sort of stuff. So 
being a good steward of God's creation. All right, I think we need to do something fun now. You guys look pretty tired, yeah? All right. Here's what we're going to do now. Ashley is going to pass out a few strips of paper and some pens and or markers or a writing utensil. And here's what we're going to do. Please listen while Ashley passes these out. Shh. We are going to create our own modern day psalm book. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. You are going to, as an individual, write down a song that fits into one of those categories of praise, thanksgiving, lament, trust, or help. So five songs. Okay? Pick a song. And by modern day, I mean probably like the last 100 years or 200 years, okay? That you think fits into that category that you would listen to. All right? And then once we get that, um, we'll see how much time we have because then I want to create a Spotify playlist and then you all can like it or subscribe to it, whatever Spotify uses for their language, okay? So I'll give you an example, all right? So Ashley might have for her praise modern day praise psalm uh happy by pharrell right yeah we all know that song uh huh perhaps for help it might be you've got a friend in me by james taylor all right so think of your own playlist and then what I'd like to do is to get together in your groups and create an ultimate playlist and like just the five that you all agree upon for each one uh, and then what I'd like to do is to share or we'll collect them all because I'm, I'm thinking we're going to run out of time but Ashley and I will create the playlist and we'll send it out to everybody okay all right so get cracking think about those songs again Praise, thanksgiving, lament, trust, help, and we will get that modern day psalm book rolling.
All right. So it looks like we're kind of wrapping this activity up. Um, I Ashley, could you bring those down? I want to read some of those out loud so that folks can kind of get some more ideas or we probably got like two to three minutes to finish this up. Ashley, give them to me. Give them to me. Oh, I just came up with my lament psalm. My modern day lament song is Duality by Slipknot. Like, I was not having a good afternoon, and so I put on 2000s Metal Classics, and Ashley liked it. Put on 2000s Metal Classic. Ashley, bring those lists up here. All right, thank you. Okay, we're just going to go through a few of these as just examples. Okay, a praise song, Ain't It Fun by Paramore. A lament psalm, ooh, Pumped Up Kids, yeah. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, let's go to the next. Next. All right. Symphony number no. seven. Beethoven for a lament psalm. Is that the dun 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 dun? Dang it. Okay, what's number seven? All right, I'm going to look it up tonight. Uh, help, umbrella. Um, Thanksgiving, turkey chase. I don't know that one. Praise Before Your Love by Kelly Clarkson. Lament Someone Like You by Adele. Most folk, or I think a lot of folks, had Help by the Beatles for help. All right. Let's see. Sunday Best for Praise. Oh, whoops. Come back. Let It Go. Ooh, that's a good lament, right? Hey, Soul Sister for a Trust song. Thanksgiving, Thank You, Next. Thank you, Bye, Next. Sorry. All right. What's, what do we got? What do we got? Praise, Just Dance. That's a good one. Um, how Great Is Our God for a Praise song. All right. What's Pale Blue Eyes? I haven't heard of that one. Anyone want to sing that for me? Who said Our Thanksgiving by Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> You're just Googling things. Is it for real like pizza pizza? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna look I'm gonna look it up. Thanksgiving. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Alright. Thanksgiving. Ooh, here's a good one. Come together. Yep. Ooh, lean on me. Oh, that's a good one. All right. These are some good songs. I think what Ashley and I will do is Ashley and I will add our own uh, few uh, few songs in here. All right. These are all great. Alrighty, so, shh, listen up. So, the book of Psalms is what? The book of Psalms is what? Fellas in the back, the book of Psalms is what? The book of Psalms is? Wise? Sure, okay. What is the book of Psalms? It's a collection of songs. Yes. True or false? The book of Psalms has a song or a psalm for every emotion or situation in life. True or false? True. True. That is correct. 
Uh, when you were doing this exercise, what was the easiest one to think of, the easiest category for a song? Praise? Who else? Help? Praise and help? Kind of the two ends of the spectrum, right? Yeah, I could see that. All right, so think, okay, I really love the book of Psalms. Uh, it really has kind of helped me throughout my life uh, in good times and bad. So I encourage you to dig into the Psalms. Uh, even if it's just like, hey, I think I want to read a scripture passage, just flip open to the book of Psalms and just read a psalm and see if it relates, because chances are it might. Okay, we have two minutes. So, Ashley, let's quickly uh, do some admin stuff here. We have uh, sheets up front here of folks' sermon notes, it looks like. and activities and such. So when we are finished here, uh, come find that. Um, we do have service opportunities available still if you want to get some of those done before the new year. Um, we are potentially recruiting you all to come help uh, with some stuff next week, perhaps, if anyone wants to. So keep an eye out or tell your parents to look out for emails. Uh, we are doing a congregation-wide surprise sort of thing. So we might need help to help package things. So if you want to help for like a service project type thing, be on the lookout for that. Our next time that we are scheduled to meet is supposed to be the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, right? But are we gonna meet? No, no, we're not. Because you all have the week off of school, or most of you do, okay? You might be traveling. You might be baking a pie. You might be doing or making mashed potatoes ahead of time, I don't know. But we will not have confirmation on the third Wednesday, excuse me, the fourth Wednesday, okay? The next time we're scheduled to meet is December 8th. However, last time we met, we asked you all, would you rather meet on the 8th or on the 1st of December when our Synod's Bishop, Lori Scow Anderson, will be here presenting to the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders? And everyone said, yes, the first, please. So the next session that we will meet is December 1st. That is the first Wednesday of the month, okay? The first Wednesday of the month. And we won't meet again in December, right, Ashley? What? We won't, just the one time in December, okay? The topic that the bishop will speak on is biblical justice. So how do we understand justice today from a biblical perspective and there are like three big words used in the bible that can help us understand what justice means today so she will be presenting on that uh, the sixth seventh and eighth graders will be here as well i want you all as high schoolers to be leaders okay and by being leaders i mean being active listeners and showing our sixth seventh and eighth graders what it means to pay attention and to listen to someone who's driving from, I think, Ashley, where does she live? Rice Lake or is it Menominee? I forget. Menominee? Menominee. Uh, she's driving over from Menominee to come and uh, present, okay? She's spending valuable time because December is a crazy month for all pastors, especially the bishop, okay? So be good listeners. Don't be dinking around on your phones. Bring your Bible, okay? Bring your Bible because chances are she'll want you to open it up, okay? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, seeing none, I would like to thank you all for coming and uh, you all can have a wonderful evening. And if you haven't turned this in, come turn it in.